Okay, this is the last kinds of special quadrilaterals we're going to talk about today, trapezoids and kites. So you're going to learn the definition of those, the different properties, and then how to solve um, problems using those. First of all, a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides is a trapezoid. So these are my parallel sides. Parallel sides are what we call the bases. So you got to know the vocabulary. So this is quadrilateral A, B, D, C, and the sides parallel are going to be A, B, parallel to C, D, okay? And these are called our bases. Okay. Trapezoids have two pair of what we call base angles. This is a base angle, this is a base angle. So there's two pairs. Got base angles here and base angles here. So all of those angles are actually called base angles. Okay. An isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid that has two pair of congruent legs. So the legs are not the bases, obviously. So just like in an isosceles triangle, the legs of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So AC is going to be congruent to BD in this case. Okay, so what are its properties? Each pair of base angles are congruent. So in this case, angles A and B are congruent. And then angle C is congruent to angle D. Okay, so the base angles are congruent. The diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are also congruent. So we're going to say AD is congruent to CB. So those are the properties of an isosceles triangle. We also have a mid-segment theorem or mid-segment, and that is our segment that connects the midpoints of the trapezoid's legs. So this is going to be congruent to this, and this will be congruent to this. And since they're isosceles, actually, they're going to be congruent to each other. So the mid-segment theorem for trapezoids, we had one for isosceles triangles, we have one for isosceles trapezoids. Um, and actually, this is not just for isosceles trapezoids, so this would be congruent to this. They're not necessarily congruent to each other. The mid-segment of the trapezoid is parallel to each base, and its length is one-half the sum of the lengths of the bases. So let's call this B1 and B2, and BE is going to be one-half the sum of those bases. Okay, so BE is equal to one-half the sum of the bases, and BE is parallel to CD, which is parallel to AF. Okay, so CD is parallel to BE, which is parallel to AF. A kite is a quadrilateral that has two pair of consecutive congruent sides, but opposite sides are not congruent. So HI is going to be congruent to HG, and then IJ is going to be congruent to GJ. So HG is congruent to HI, and GJ is congruent to IJ. Okay. So what are the properties of a kite? Diagonals are most certainly not congruent. <laughs> what they are are perpendicular. So if I have my diagonal, okay, GI is perpendicular to HJ. Okay. And then exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. So in this case, it's going to be angle G 
is congruent to angle phi. Or I guess we should say because there's more than one angle there, angle H, G, J is congruent to angle H, I, J. All right, so let's go ahead and do some examples. The first trapezoid R, S, T, U is an isosceles triangle and the measure of angle S is 75. We want to know what the measures of angle R, angle T, and angle U. So since this is isosceles, we know that the base angles are congruent. So this is going to be 75. So the measure of angle R is equal to 75 degrees. Because these sides are parallel, we know that our consecutive angles have to add up to 180 degrees. This is not a parallelogram, so obviously 75 and 75 don't have to add up to 180, but we have correspond our same side interior or consecutive interior integers, and those have to add up to 180. So the measure of angle U is going to be equal to 180 minus 75, which is 105 degrees. And then T is congruent to that, so T is also going to be 105 degrees. Okay. So now, TU is the mid-segment of WXY, WXYZ. We want to know what X is. So since this is the mid-segment, it's half the sum of the others. So 2X plus 10 is equal to half the sum of the bases, 6X minus 12 plus 18. So if I combine, actually I'm going to multiply by 2 first. I don't want to deal with the fraction. So if I multiply by 2 first, I'm going to get 4X plus 20 equals, combining my like terms, 6X um, get 64. 6X plus 6. Let's help continue recording. All right. So now I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides, or not. So if I subtract 4x from both sides, I'm going to get 20 equals, well, I'm going 20 equals 2x plus 6. I'm going to subtract 6. I'm going to get 14 equals 2x. And divide by 2x equals 7. So all we're looking for is X in this case. Remember, it's going to be really important that you read those questions well. All right, so quadrilateral ABCD is a kite. We want to know what the measures of angle 1 and angle 2 are. Well, their diagonals are perpendicular, like a rhombus and a square. And so the measure of angle 1 is 90 degrees. Okay, so that means that we got a right triangle here. Um, 40, these are going to end up being congruent, okay? And the reason being, if we wanted to prove it, which you never know, you might on a test or a quiz, we have, we know that AB is congruent to AD by the definition of a kite. We know that this is a right angle, so that makes this a right angle. And then we can say that if I gave this point E, AE is congruent to AE by the reflexive property. So our triangles are congruent. So AEB is congruent to triangle AED by hypotenuse leg. So then that means that angle, this one right here that I labeled 40 is 40. If that's 90, it means that there's 50 degrees left in that triangle because triangles add up to 180 degrees, the sum of their angles. So that is going to be 50 degrees. Okay, so what did you learn today? Hopefully you learned that a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. Okay. We learned that in isosceles triangle, the legs or the non-parallel sides are congruent. We learned that their diagonals are congruent, just an isosceles tri trapezoid. 
and we learned that they also have a mid-segment like isosceles triangles. Lastly, we learned about a kite and all of its properties. You guys have a great evening, morning, day, after whenever you're listening to this, and I will see you in class.